Hi, welcome back to Linux. We are going to install applications from the built-in software manager. So Linux Mint and many other Linuxes, <laughs> Unices out there, have a built-in software manager where you can just go click and go to this little package icon there, which, which is the software manager. And you can type in an application you want to get like numeric. It will go out and look on the internet, find it for you, and you can install it. So uh, I mentioned earlier that I do like to use numeric. I don't use Excel, uh, like ever. Um, and I don't like the LibreOffice options or the WPS option over here for spreadsheets. I like numeric. So I use numeric. I use it for a lot of the statistical operations and, and other, other features inside numeric, which is very lightweight, and I like it. Well, if I choose to install something here, so let's say I choose Numeric Plugins Extra. So you can see we got Numeric. We have Numeric Plugins Extra there. If I choose this, and I click that right there, and I say Install, then it's going to go ahead and look out there and see what kind of additional applications I might need. So it says you need all of these different things to get that. And notice Numeric is one of them. So I'm gonna choose OK. It says password. So I'm going to go ahead and type my password. Well, I'm going to try to type it correctly there. Authenticate. It'll go through and uh, grab the, the application there, install it, and now I should be good to go. So to test it, go down here to Linux Mint, go up to Office, and you see that highlighted numeric right there. If I click on that, then now I've got the numeric spreadsheet. I can go through and use this however I see fit. So I've got the uh, all the little options inside of numeric that come embedded with it it's just a great utility so i love it and it installed that with the uh notice those check marks now just because i did choose the plugins extra which i did i wanted the plugins extra on there so that is just way too easy so that's installing something from the software manager using the gui which is just a piece of cake uh, let's go ahead and install something from the terminal so i'm going to open up a terminal here and if your terminal doesn't look quite like this, just look at one of the other lessons, uh, specifically the part three of three for building your system and pull down the bash script for this and you can make your terminal look like this as well. All right, so here's the terminal and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a sudo app get install and I'll just get frozen bubble. So let's see, frozen bubble there. And if I hit tab, then it's gonna tell me, oh, there's frozen bubble and there's frozen bubble dash data. Well, let's get both of those. So I'm gonna type frozen bubble and I'll dash tab data, and then I'm going to press enter. Now, when I do that, it says, hey, you need to install a whole bunch of other things. Do you want to install those things? I'm gonna say right here, if you notice the Y is already capital because the Y is already capital and it's inside these brackets. I don't have to type anything, I just press enter because it's showing you that Y is the default option there. All right, it's almost done. And now I have frozen bubbles. So I'm gonna go ahead and type X, exit out of that. Go down to my little mint icon, and then I'll type FRO, and you see frozen bubble there. I have frozen bubble installed on my system as well. And with all of its glory. Yes, so let me go ahead and kill frozen bubble, <laughs> make that go away. Hopefully that helps. That is installing applications using the, the package manager, using the GUI and using the terminal. There's only one more way that you can really install packages uh, that I would recommend and that is going through source code. So you do a dot slash configure, make and make install. I am not a fan of Snap. I've had enormous problems with Snap applications in the, problem, in the past as they have updated, Snap has updated and broken entire systems. So I am, stay away from Snap. It causes just endless problems. Um, I do stay away from Flatpak. Uh, so if you're, uh, you're looking at Snap and Flatpak, then I try to avoid those and, and give as many native installations as possible. Hope that this is helping you out and I look forward to uh, seeing you next time.